We have incoming wormhole. Close the iris. Okay, it's okay. Open the iris. Hello and welcome to a special video that I didn't really plan, but uh, as you may have seen, uh, the iris, iris test trick really worked out much better than I expected, so I decided I will make a video to uh, show how exactly I achieved that, to show uh, the mechanism and, uh, well, everything basically. So uh, here we are in a Creo, and as you can see, here is the model. Yeah, the gate itself is very simplistic, very uh, crude, um, and I basically don't even care. Um, I'm glad that I have at least something that looks like gate. I tried to use uh, assets I have uh, at my disposal, but obviously the ring itself has to be much thicker uh, to accommodate the mechanism itself. Anyway, we will now get rid of the cover and take a look inside. Now, as you can see, all the blades of the iris are actually clipping through each other here. That's obviously not the case uh, in the real life where they are bended because each and every single one of those blades are, as you can see, like that. And this is only 0.2 millimeters. That's just one layer um, of the filament. Uh, and uh, that is why it's, it's flexible, it's bendable, and it can, it can do what it is supposed to. Unfortunately here, it, uh, as you can see, goes clipping. But, uh, before I will go uh, further, I will return the cover and just show how it works using a dragger. So, as you can see, uh, there are uh, grooves uh, on the back side of the main body, I guess, uh, with four knobs, and uh, by moving them, you will close the ring, which will move the blades. Okay, so, now... I will get rid of the cover once again and I will hide the blades. So what can we see here? We have those orange uh, connector pieces that uh, are attached to the main body and we have a secondary ring that rotates inside. and you know what, I will do it like this. I will uh, hide every blade except one. Yeah, this one. So as you can see, it grabs one uh, knob from the secondary wheel, uh, wheel and one knob from the connector. And when we move it, it does this one fluid movement and as you can see with all the other parts all the other uh, do the same thing do the same movement so that's why all the blades will uh, start to rotate uh, simultaneously yeah my original design that i did uh, almost a year ago <coughs> that uses uh, the uh, gears uh, and uh, teeth wheels and by unfortunately that didn't really work uh, because uh, the imperfection in my design I don't have a uh, uh, teeth gear uh, generator so I was simply doing the gears by by hand and that didn't really work out but this design doesn't have a single tooth thief uh, gear and this is something I can work with and as you can see 
and as you may have seen from the preview it works anyway i will now uh, show show you all the pieces one by one so this is the main body it's all done so it's uh, possible to print out on my uh, Prusa printer uh, so the max uh, or outer diameter is around 20 millimeters uh, sorry 20 centimeters anyway it has uh, 22 uh, knobs and 22 um, stoppers I guess uh, with groove for for uh, this part which will then allow the connector part to actually rotate because uh, if I do, didn't have this opening then it wouldn't be able to actually uh, open fully then I have the secondary part or secondary wheel um, now you may be um, well perplexed by those parts uh, their presence there is not uh, an accident I actually have to design them in uh, originally there were not there but uh, on my uh, previous uh, design I had the problem that when I closed the iris I wasn't able to actually open it because it uh, basically stuck together now with this uh, b before I will go to it uh, fr from the second side you can see that it has opening and it will accommodate those four knobs anyway uh, what I wanted to say is that if I add the connectors the movement uh, of how oh, it will be better to actually do this once again so that I can mo uh, show the movement you see if I push it you can see that the knob just missed this knob but uh, in the previous design as I said I had a problem that when I try to open the iris it uh, want, uh, didn't want to be open because this part didn't want to uh, rotate so I added this knob and added the knob here so that as you can see it can rotate it uh, very smoothly and not just by the connection from those blades and it really helped now I don't have a single issue with opening or closing oh uh, yeah there is uh, some issue but it's uh, 3d printed uh, related uh, but not with the design itself anyway so this is how it actually works the design took uh, some thinking to actually come up with but now when it is done it's not that uh, dif it's not that difficult it's not that complex uh, but as you can see it works and yeah so Yeah, this is it so this is my iris rig and now we will once again take a look at the models okay so yeah here is the model now the problem that I have uh, those four knobs uh, they don't uh, hold on place that well I had to use glue and even that didn't really solve the issue completely but as you can see it's workable so now uh, do I have some issues I do uh, as you can see uh, sometimes um, the plates stuck uh, because the uh, points uh, have a little bit of material sticking out and it will simply you know uh, drag but nothing that couldn't be really solved as you can see the whole movement 
is working uh, rather smooth and works repeatedly it's very a uh, good thing uh, to actually push both sides not just one but both and then yeah but as you can see you, you see that the actually uh, actual center is now moved out it's not like in the show uh, because there it's obviously CGI so it will stick out but from this side it looks really uh, much like in the series also the fact that it will make this uh, bowl shape kind of uh, annul the whole the, the the whole reason why the iris was there because now closing like that the kavush would destroy it but that's beside the point anyway uh, And the best thing is that it's completely closed. Okay, so yeah. It's a rather short video, but uh, I didn't really expect that it would work. I When I uh, assembled everything together and it actually worked, you have no idea how happy I was. I felt like a child during a Christmas day. Okay, I think that's it for now. Uh, I hope you liked it. I certainly did. And we'll see each other next time. Bye-bye.